Alan Kruf gets underway on Friday in race one with Win a Share. Now she's having her very first start. She's a filly by Global View. And excitingly, she's another one of the syndicate individuals to step out. And Alan, you've enjoyed good success with your syndicate runners. Lots of excitement and uh, yeah, a, a lot of people coming together to join in one horse and learn about racing. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of people, a lot of people coming to learn. And this filly, you know, she's a neat little individual. And uh, I think she might just need a run first time out. But uh, I think, you know, we'll see how she goes. We move to race two. We will see can't, we'll see can't say no. And uh, she stepped out last time out for her first run. And she did very well, running a respectable placing. Yeah, and ran a nice placing. She is taking on the boys. And, um, you know, if she can repeat that sort of run, she can be back in the money again. We move to race three. My best shot steps out. He's going to try a little bit further. 1400 and the bend. He does take on older. Yeah, it's the first juvenile of ours that's going to go into an open maiden plate and take on the older horses. Um, nice horse, always been looking for a bit more ground and uh, I think he'll really relish the 1400. Race four is a pinnacle and it really looks a smart field. Here the yard will have three runners. Luna Halo was a brilliant listed Breeders Guineas winner last time out, especially so finding the mile that day a bit of a stretch. Definitely maybe, well certainly better than her last not a run to judge on. I'm sure she can bounce back from that. She'll be joined by Crimson Princess who's new to the yard, racing off high felt form. This could possibly be a touch sharp for her. Yeah, Luna Halo loves the 1400 and... Uh I know she's got top weight, but uh, her form speaks for herself. Uh, definitely maybe, and Crimson Princess both been off a little bit of a layoff, and uh, 1400 may be a bit tight for both fillies, but uh, I expect them to run nice sort of races. In race five, we'll see the Lady Love. Now, unfortunately, she ended up with a bit much to do in her last race, where she came from too far back. She did run on well, though, and she can get closer here. Yeah, I think so, Nate. I think you can just draw a line through her last race. Um, we've brought her back to a sprint and start from scratch again. And, uh, you know, she works nicely. And if she brings her work, uh, she's a horse that you can't leave out. Two runners in race six. Central City race at the back of a very easy win against similar last time out. He'll be joined by St. Clue. Takes on male opposition, but is best weighted. There's a little concern, though, that you might just be happier on the poly. I think you spot on with uh, your, assumption, or your assumption for both those horses. Central City ran a nice race last time, won well, and uh, you know hopefully you can back it up. St. Clue, nice filly, but she's always shown her best on the body, uh, but nice galloping weight. In the background is Bournemouth, and we'll see him in action in race seven, where he steps out in the Glenlair Trophy, which is our feature of the afternoon. Yeah, Bournemouth ran a nice race last time, uh, you know, the... Front runner was the winner that day, Medlis Tart, and they let her get away. I think uh, this time the jocks will all be uh, eyeing her up front there and keeping a, a beady eye on her. But uh, consistent as ever, and he was running on nicely, just had too much to do on that day. The yard closes in the last of the two runners. Holly's view now she rewarded her owners for patience last time out when she bounced back to best to win. And Rumar, she showed good improvement that day too, and let's hope she can follow up on that. Yeah, Holly's view, I think, looks like we found the sweet spot. Uh, the handicapper um, mm -hmm. took her for a, a ride after that race. You know, she hadn't won in two years or so. But uh, she won really well. And, uh, you know, I think maybe things are starting to come together for her again. Ramar bounced back nicely and uh, hopefully we can have a repeat run. Let's hope Holly's view is on track and we'll see her up there again. Ramar definitely could be finding form again and could be worth including in quartets. Thank <laughs> you.